Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark, and that's for art. I sat down to read our chapter, and then I was fuming over some comments I saw. I actually got really irritated at that widely advertised, uh, intentionally placed lie about Planned Parenthood and the abortions. And oh, we don't give, we just do abortion services. Do you know that it really just inflamed me, like to no end, because today Trump instilled that global gag order, which will increase women's deaths. Women kill themselves doing self-abortions. It's going to increase HIV. And the lie that Planned Parenthood pays for abortions is wrong. No money that Planned Parenthood ever has is uh, pays for abortion. It can't. It's illegal. Under its charter within the new current laws in the United States, it's illegal. That video is a fucking lie. And this gag order, the reason it came out is because of this gag order. It's to like manipulate. It's like this is what Trump does and his whole cabal of fucking fascist liars. A lot of you people out there voted for Trump because you believe he's just a regular guy. Well, let's just listen to what this regular guy said. We're going to get Mexico to pay for the wall. Only now we're paying for it. And now I can hear you saying, well, of course we're going to pay for it. But that we're going to spend billions of dollars building a wall. Now, why are we spending? Think about what we're putting in that wall, folks. They are fucking either ripping us off or they are putting a high wired surveillance and it's not going to be surveilling the people that are coming over here from the farms that can't work anymore because Monsanto has contaminated their food with GMO seeds. Uh, and, you know, it's just honestly the wall. We're paying for it. The global gag order is going to cause more deaths in women's deaths around the world. What Planned Parenthood and organizations that offer abortion and say, you know, this is a family planning method. For a woman who has nine kids, having an abortion is a family planning method. If her husband refuses to wear a condom, she gets pregnant, folks, in a country where she has no rights. The lack of compassion by the callousness of the current administration and the selfishness is just beyond me. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. His first, his speech was me. It's about us, folks. It's about us. And ever since then, it's about him, 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 him. He even lied today about the immigration. The wall, the wall and him lying about the wall. This was about, now maybe he's being fed lies. That's a strong possibility. I'm going to keep going because I do not want to take too long. I just did a 20 minute rant and deleted it because it was way too long. Okay, the federal freeze. These are sweeping changes that he's going to make. He's going to freeze the federal, all the federal agencies are now frozen. That means that Social Security and our veterans benefits gets frozen, folks. On his second or third day, he's already hurting the veterans and the women and the elderly and going after the undocumented, which he swore he would do on day one. So no wonder. Obamacare, his big signature, oh, I'm signing this document. We're stopping Obamacare. That was all bullshit because guess what? Everything he signed was already in the law. The IRS has no mechanism to collect on those penalties, period. I mean, Obamacare can't be repealed. He's like, we're going to stop all these penalties. He can't just say we're going to stop them. What he said was we're going to stop enforcing on it. Well, they never enforced on it anyways, you stupid fucks. EPA regulates the regulations freeze. Do you, have, does anyone ever remember the fires in New Jersey on the rivers and the stench in the alleys and the, the sewages that, where children were getting sick? EPA is all of their regulations. That includes the regulations that they passed in Flint, Michigan to force those people to make sure people had decent water. So we're forcing all of that. How sweet of him. He's so good to the people because, you know, he's one of us. 
The Dakota XX pipeline, which he has a vested interest in, he owns money in that. And the XL pipeline, which his friends actually own money in that. And all the other little subsidiaries. And also, let's don't forget the nuclear industry. He's, he And coal, he's going after all of that. And so he's opened the floodgates on all of that. Bye-bye, American environment. Bye. Especially with what? The EPA regulations? Like, can you imagine that one? How long do we think it's going to take before we start seeing children being born with two heads? Or how long will it take before we, like, see children vomiting all the time and getting really sick? But it's going to be their kids. But it won't be Trump's kids because they stay in golden palaces. So they don't have to get sick. All you people out there who are saying, yeah, Trump's doing what he said. This is what happens when you have somebody who has no experience in government, can't think his fucking way out of a paper box, and has done nothing but bankrupt his dad's fortune that he gave him. Because he is selfish and self-centered. And the fact that he is lying about he had just as many people at his inauguration, and the fact that he's lying about the uh, undocumented, the illegal aliens stealing coming to vote and voting if the illegal aliens had voted against him hillary clinton would have won dumbass really he's he, it's incredulous that we have a president that is like uh so blatantly abusing us blatantly now hillary clinton would have abused us we had two abusers that's all we had the choice of because the democratic party betrayed us seriously bad the Democratic Party is the fascist party. And they are going to click their heels and say, Sig Heil, Herr Trump, in a heartbeat. They're already doing it. Go along to get along, Ron. I've already insulted my own senator. I mean, his office was the one that found Steve Mnuchin's offshore accounts. And in the hearings, he just says, Oh, I'm disappointed you didn't fill out your forms properly. We found your offshore accounts. And, ooh, that made big news. And they let him get away with it by saying, oh, these forms, they're just so pesky. I just don't understand these forms. This is the man we're saying can run our treasury. He can't fill out a few fucking forms. Just like the same exclusion that we allowed for the Supreme Court Justice, Clarence Thomas, when he forgot to, for over 20 years, tell us that his wife was making $500,000 a year or a million dollars a year from some insider group. Like, what a fucking lobbyist group. Like, this guy, these people are beyond corrupt, folks. And I venture to say we've already had the military coup. If we cut off the CIA budget, you don't think there would be hell to pay in the government right now? If the go if they all went, got had their come to Jesus moment tonight, woke up and Paul Ryan said, "Hey, we're going to cut off the funding for the CIA." You know how many of those sen congressmen and senators would just be bumped off, knocked off, cars would explode. It's Michael Hastings. This is the state of America. And we have people out there saying that Trump has done us a favor. No, Trump has not done us a favor, folks. And stop calling me a libtard. And just say, you know, the whole idea is not, I'm not, I'm not willing to not pay my taxes. Because I want to take care of the elderly. Ironically, people who say they don't want to pay their taxes are living on Social Security. Or some type of government assistance. They get food stamps or something that helps them from the government. And where does the government get that? From our taxes. So as a person of able body, I do not mind paying my taxes. I think it helps our culture and helps our country. And helps our people. And it's not enough. We can't just go, well, they're a horrible agency. No, they're not. None of them are horrible agencies. They're all decent agencies, but they're scared of the CIA, the FBI. They're scared of these corporations who threaten their lives and that are protected by the FBI and the CIA and the fucking cops. And the mil I mean, look, look at Dapple. If you have any question on whose side the police is on, they are not protecting us. They are encroaching. They are a Native American lens. They are fighting. They are having, they go out in the middle of the night 
and spray the protesters with water in the deep snow. They chase people down and grab them. Over 600 people have been arrested. So no, folks, they're not on our side. And the website of the, uh, the new White House, you know what it says? Our two main priorities, build up our military and respect and honor our police officers. As if they don't have enough respect. Does that mean we have to like... Every single one of us is now going to have to treat the police with military respect. They're going to tell us how to fucking live. I say we resist them. And we resist them with happiness and peace and love and forgiveness. And just forgive them and keep forgiving them. And refuse to participate in their hate machine by calling each other names. And refusing to talk to each other. And saying, well, you're a candidate and you should have done this. And of course you would have done this. And like really all of that is just bitter, 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 bitter. That we have things that we need to get done. We need to learn how to build our gardens and get the fucking courage to go do it. Just build a garden. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Start next year. Keep planting your plants. Figure out how what, will, what you can grow. It's important for us to grow our food. I mean, it's super important for us to learn how to take it back. I mean, I have one of those terracotta lamps. And, you know, I've, I'm learning how to make vinegar, for example. Like, we must learn these things and take it back. We're not going to take it back by violence. We're not going to take it back by force. They will only oppress us. They have more weapons. They are abusers, and unfortunately, there is no battered country shelter to go to. There's nobody going to come to our aid, folks. It's up to us. And it is up to us to be out in masses because you know what? You know why the women's protest was peaceful? Because there were so many people. Protests are peaceful. People do not want to fight. You know who picks the fights? Is the fucking CIA or the FBI or the cops because they want to fucking blame somebody. And they want money. It, it, it helps litigate. It's money, 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 money. We are assets on a balance sheet. Refuse to participate. Figure out what you will refuse to participate with. Like, I'm personally not willing to quit my job and stop paying taxes yet. But then again, I keep calling these cowards and begging them to please stop putting your face in front of their fist. Putting our face in front of their fist. They're all we have. They run the purse strings. And if the CIA is going to pull out a major coup, then that's what will happen. And maybe our friends in Europe will come and save us. Because Germany did not liberate itself. Germany was liberated, folks, from Hitler. I know these are harsh words. I can't believe I'm even saying them. But when I, I saw a video tonight of some lady calling you, you libtards, and for you liberals, and you didn't even think, and you didn't say anything, well, no. And I'm not one of those people because I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton, and I hate Obamacare, and I live my word because I don't buy fucking Obamacare, and I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. I didn't vote for anybody for president because they all suck. Every one of them that was on that ballot was like, no thanks. Mine was a vote for no. Our new president has really harmed our country already. You guys are jumping for joy. Oh, the freeze is finally. Someone's going to freeze everything and uh, business can get back to being business. People have forgotten what it's like when businesses run everything. I think that's the value of me being 61 as I remember it. I'm going to end here. Put your courage feet on, you guys. Please take action. Whatever that action is, learn how to make your own food, how to grow your own food. Keep yourself well and healthy and love and have fun. Play. You know. Talk to you later, you guys. Ciao.